Hi there everyone, Mark from Retribution Gaming here, welcoming you back to Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition. In the last episode, I struggled to form any form of coherent sentence, and James found himself in an underground graveyard where he jumped into his own open grave. So surely that can only be a good sign of things to come. So uh, let's see what comes of it, shall we? Well, here we are. Ready to go for a ride? Yeah, right, okay. I swear there was a cutscene there in the PS2 version. Um, I've got my gun out. Uh, there we go, I want my trusty pipe. Uh, oh, hang on. No, I don't. Maybe I do want my gun. In fact, I think I am going to get my gun out, not just any gun. Where's my shotgun? That's my handgun. That's the pipe. Plank. Uh, <laughs> great knife. What's that? Rifle. Shotgun. And it's reloaded. I might be thinking of completely the wrong bit, but nope, here we are. The frost gave it away, or the mist. Yeah. Eddie? What are you doing? What does it look like? He always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And the corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Eddie's completely lost the plot. Eddie, have you gone nuts? Not even to leave some ammo on the floor. I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Not the right thing to say, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James! Whoa, uh, nicely dodged. Uh, seriously? Oi! Less of that. Um... I do have a more powerful gun than him. But... Why didn't I go into my inventory just then? Um, it would also help if I could see him. Stop it! I think... I don't know if I can take any more of this. Right, there we go. I only need to hit him once more. Son of a bitch. Right, I'm gonna use one of them. Okay. That was handy. That was a shotgun shells. Is there anything else in this room? Uh, he's looking at something. What's he looking at? Something over here. Uh, rifle shells. And that's it. Right, 
Okay. I'm not using the hunting rifle because it's way too slow. But we have another fight with Eddie. Do you know what it does to you, James? When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look? After you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life. That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog! <laughs> He's gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Don't get a holy on me, James! This town called you too! You and me are the same. We're not like other people. Don't you know that? Let's party! He's got me in close range for some reason. He's not going to be any good for him. Now he's just stopped. Okay, that's easier than it should have been. Eddie? Eddie? I... I killed a... a human being. Yeah, you did, but it was in self-defense. He had a gone human like nuts. Being. Mary. Did you really die three years ago? Now what made you bring that up all of a sudden? Now can we take his gun at least? He was looking at something just now. What was he looking at? Or was he just looking at Eddie? I mean, that's a pretty mad gun he's got, but yeah, I don't think he's. we can pick it up. Okay, you know, I'm just trampled all over Viddy's corpse. Uh, reload the shotgun. Don't need it out just yet. Can leave this area, I think. And we're back outside. Do we know where we are? We are back at the Historical Society. Great. So, I mean, was all of that... Oh, there's a save point. All of that in James's head? shipping dock now. I mean the fight with Eddie maybe not but all the rest of it. Toluca prison and the catacombs and oh look we can see a light in the distance. Yeah we want to uh, oh look we're having some is it the same issues that the HD version had in the fact that there's no water texture. Which is a shame, but... James, you are rowing the wrong way. But yeah, basically... We need to turn around till we can see that light again. Wherever it was. There it is. 
and low towards that. This segment is a little bit boring, so I do apologise. We are literally just rowing our way across Toluca Lake. Not really an awful lot more I can say about it. It does show off the uh, fog effect very nicely though. Turn a little bit, James. There we go. I've never got the hang of. I mean, I've done it a few times, rowing a, a boat, but I, I can't. I've never really properly got the hang of it. Um, also, I can't do it for very long either, due to the fact that I have a you know, I suffer from like quite severe back issues, <laughs> so I can't do it for very long anyway. But yeah, now it looks like we're getting close. There we go. nifty how James can kind of pretty much just stop the boat like that. Right, we found ourselves on the other side of the lake now at least. Now, what do you think he's looking at? Right, we are at the hotel that I've forgotten the name of, but should be on the map. Lakeview Hotel, that's it. Makes sense, it's on the side of the lake I guess. Uh, we can't go through these gates can we? Nope, we're just going up to the hotel. Is there anything in the hotel grounds? No, oh, it's I'm looking at something here, what's that? Fountain in the shape of a bird, nothing's coming out. There's something on it that he's looking at. Yeah, what's that? What's, what is that? Oh, it's a, uh, oh, right, yeah, it's part of a puzzle that we'll come to in a minute. Anything over here? Just have a quick look around the uh, hotel grounds. Can't go through there. Is there anything on the other side? Another fountain. This one has a bird in it. But yes, yeah, still no water's coming out of it. It's a bench. It'd be a nice nice place to sit and relax, I guess, if you know it wasn't in such a weird location. And by that I don't mean on this edge of Toluca Lake, I mean in Silent Hill in general. Okay, right, well there's a map on the wall, so let's grab that. Lakeview Hotel, waiting for you, 312. Uh -huh. Well, that's made it quite clear where we need to go. What's this, room 312? That's the room Mary and I stayed in. Mary, are you there? Or maybe. Hotel map for guests. Makes me think there might be one for employees kicking about. Um, let me just check that map again quickly. Where are we? We are 
obviously by the entrance, but... Now, ah, before we actually get into the hotel itself, there's a cafe and a restaurant. So let's go check those two out, shall we? Is the cafe open? It is not. Let's check all these doors down here. Can't remember where it said these went. Are these toilets? I don't know. Where, where are that? I don't want to go through there if I don't have to right now. That leads to some rooms. But it's broken. Okay, good. In a way. Oh, this one's open there. Where are we now? What is this? Oh, hi. Uh, no. I'm not standing for that. some more health drinks along the way. That's broken. Ooh, goodies. Hang on bullets, hang on bullets, hang on bullets. Rifle shells, anything else on here? Toilet paper, we don't need it right now. What's up in here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. A laundry cart, nothing useful inside. Okay, the cardboard box and there's nothing in it. Okay, so has he drawn what this looks like on the map now then? No, all this did was give us some resources. Uh, a big grey area there. I don't know if that leads us absent. Marked deception, oddly enough. But now we've got to be somewhat careful here because if you recall, when we last saw Angela... Oh! Oh, Laura! Did scare you? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did a bit. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Want to read it? But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. Well, that looks like the same handwriting as what was on the map just now. My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give you after I'm gone. I'm far away now in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please give him a chance. It's true he may be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much, but underneath he's a really sweet person. Laura, I love you like my own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Oh, isn't that sweet? Happy 8th birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. Laura, how old are you? Um... I turned 8 last week. 
So, Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could, could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. I gotta find it. Laura! Right. Hmm, James is having a bit of a realisation that maybe what he thinks hap uh, happened didn't actually happen. Laura's drawn a picture on the window. What is it? It's a cat? I mean, it might be. What's he looking at? Looking at something over here? A fish key. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, what I was saying before, but I completely forgot Laura was on here. When we last saw Angela, she was being attacked by that monster called the Abstract Daddy. Well, okay, well there's an example. There are now common... Damn it, they are now common enemies. I needed to do that. Um, I also need to equip a gun to get it off me. Um, yeah, they are now common enemies in this place. Get off me, you freak. There's two of them here now, so which means I probably can't get out. But thankfully, they're a lot easier to kill. Oh no, there's only one of them. Um, yeah, they are now common enemies in here. Which is less than ideal, because if they get you in a tight space like that, then you're kind of a bit stuck. Now, I didn't check the elevator, but that's because I don't want to go in it, if I can, just yet. What I wanted to try and do was check this. They wouldn't let me do that either. Nope. Nothing happens with the elevator. Oops, any fish, nothing. Go! Where did this other one come from? Go away! Crying out loud. I hate these things, I really do. Um, I'll use an apple. Right, okay, I'm at full health. looking at painting is hanging here there's nothing unusual about it okay Ooh. the bell here even if I ring it I don't think anyone will come no you're probably right there James what's this though mr. James Sunderland the videotape you forgot here is being kept in the office on the first floor keys in the key box. I can see one. There we go. The key to room 312. Okay. Well, that makes it even more likely that that's where we have to go. Come on, James. Get out the door. Thank you. Gift shop. Nope. Don't want to give me any gifts. Right, that's the puzzle that we have to solve. I'm not going to do it just yet because I haven't got all the pieces. There's another save point. What I am going to say though is that I will save it here and I will call it and we will continue the exploring the hotel in the next video. I apologise we haven't got an awful lot done this time though, but uh, it makes sense to, to cut it here I think. So yeah, there we go.
So all that's left for me to say is uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you for the next episode where we will continue exploring the hotel and getting attacked by abstract daddies. Uh, so I hope to see you then. See you later. Bye see bye. I'd like to give a quick shout out to the people shown here as well without whom none of this would have happened. So thank you very much for all of your kind support. You should also check out Scared for Science, where a self-confessed total wimp plays horror games in the name of charity, in this case Alzheimer's UK. I've left a link to the page in the video description below. Although if tabletop wargaming is more your bag, please do check out my other channel, Fingers, Thumbs and Fits, where I do tabletop game playthroughs, painting videos and unboxings. So I'd really appreciate if you could go check that one out as well. But yeah, I've been Mark from Retribution Gaming. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please do leave a like, that will help me out a hell of a lot. Subscribe so that you know when I've posted more content. And I hope to see you for the next one. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.